Hello Zane Lowe, how are you? Good, hey, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm really pleased to be at the Naughty Reunion this year. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Not your first Not your first time, is it? No, I believe this is my third time and my second year in a row. I, I know. I've memory, although that's getting a bit scratchy now. Yeah, well, the, the parties that we have all the time, it's difficult to remember everything, isn't it? It's just a lot of shows, you know, we've been on tour for like five years. Yeah. I've got one question I want to ask you. I've been thinking about what I want to talk to you about. Okay. And um, for me, it would be like, obviously on the radio, you've mm -hmm. got millions of listeners. And then when you're doing a live show on a stage, you've got hundreds. live. <laughs> More than hundreds out there, believe yeah, yeah. me. But it's a different, you know, how do you change who you are and what you do? You know, they're not mutually exclusive, you know. To me, it's a, it's just music. It's the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel a certain way when I play it on radio. It makes me feel a certain way when I play it on a stage, you know. Um, the only real difference is that when I play on a stage, I tend to play slightly more genre-specific. Um, it's across all beats per minute, but it tends to be sort of rooted in electronic music. Uh, radio allows me to kind of explore the more versatile aspects of my taste. Sure. But um, it's the same energy. It's the yeah. same. It's the same passion. Yeah, and speaking of energy, um, Ibiza, which I worked in for many, many years, mm -hmm. and uh, went out there this time. I saw your name on the uh, lineups of Ibiza Rocks yeah. for War. Yeah. We are Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. How did that go? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, every year, you know, I think we're in our tenth year next year that I've been out at Ibiza playing with this with this crew, and um, I never forget the first time I ever played there. You know, they were like, you know, you just you can't play anything but house. You just got to keep a house. And I was there to play Ibiza Rocks, and we just didn't understand the mentality, and it wasn't sure. where I was coming from. And I remember when I played. I played Smells Like Teen Spirit at some point in the night and it was one of the most bonkers reactions still to this day of any record I've ever played in my life and I was like, you know what, this island's going to change and it has, but it still, it still maintained the heart and soul of what makes it which is, you know, it is ultimately the jewel in the crown for any DJ to come and play in electronic music um, but it's just nice because there's more diversity there now and you'll, you'll get all genres covered in different clubs. See, And also, for it being such a small island, it is very, you know, once you've been out there and you, as, as you do, you're on, you know, headlining um, nights, everyone knows each other, don't they? Yeah, definitely, you know, everyone's aware, everyone sees each other's names on posters and eventually paths cross. Um, and that's what's nice about it and, and I think that, like I said, you know, as soon as you get to play in Ibiza, you sort of become part of this unofficial club of, of people who look at each other and even though we may not share the same taste or play on the same bill, you sort of go, all right, you know, you're, you're Ibiza official. Yeah, you've got a common factor and that is that wonderful white yeah, island. You've got that stamp. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Now, as a family lady, I've got a little boy and yeah. I'm very family orientated. I know that you are going back to New Zealand for New Year. Yes. I've seen your tour dates. You've yes. got a 30 for 31st dates. Yes. Is it going to be a family holiday too? Uh, well, you know, that remains to be seen. Um, it's a long way to go. So hopefully, I mean, if, I can, if and when I can travel with my family at all times, that is preferable. Um, but this isn't an environment for two young boys, you know. You have to pick your shows and pick your tours and pick the moments where it's lifestyle appropriate. Um, but then again, you know, on the flip side of that, once we do the show, we, we, we get out. So yeah. even if they don't make it down there, you know, it won't be a, sh it won't be a long trip for me. Yeah. Um, you know, I, my priorities are real simple. You know, I do what I love for the people I love to do it for. And yeah. so for me, that just I get to go play music and then I get to go home. Cool. But needless to say, to go back to New Zealand for a New Year gig, it's that's obviously gig. like, exactly. It's a gig. And I've wanted to play Rhythm and Vines and Rhythm and Now it's forever. And then to play it last time and then going into this time again, I know what I'm expecting and I can't wait. Yeah. Cool. That's lovely. It's been really amazing to speak to you well, this you evening. Too, You've obviously got the Naughty Reunion now coming up. Right so um, definitely, definitely not one, one for the children, being a Naughty Reunion. So listen, we'll let you go. Right. Thank you. No